stop at the bait barge. What do you suggest, man? I don't know if, I mean, in a perfect world, we won't need any, honestly. We're going for, we're going to San Clemente, but. Bigger, bigger will probably live better. All right. We're going to San Clemente and they'll eat it anywhere. All right. We're hoping they'll eat our flying fish. Well, they should eat those for sure. Eat those like candy. Yeah, resistance. So how much would you like? Boy, I don't know. Bait take this size. You think we could take a full scoop? Half. Half. Ooh, beauties. Yeah, nice. Some jumbos. Uh -oh. Some scales fell off. Scale loss. Have that in San Francisco. No. That's, that's well, some years they have mackerel there uh, in addition to the sandstone for the last double an hour. Yeah. I think that's going to be fine. Is that a full half scoop? It's a half. Looks good. What do you think, Henry? Awesome. Awesome. Yellowtail? Loafing! Up, baby. As you bring it closer, I'll just actually in release. It was a bit too tight, so we'll just pull it out when it gets close. Fast as we can. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I think I just got some kelp, guys. So I get balloons and loop up in the air here. Just to bring up the ability to just kelp. Go for it, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Is it, you got kelp or what? No. <laughs> I don't think so, buddy. You fighting? Not that much, but... Oh, oh there we go. There's some head shakes. Yeah? Maybe he doesn't fucking realize he's hooked. All right, we're on right now. No, I don't... You want me to fight? No, because I don't want to... Oh, there you go. Yeah. Come on, fight! <laughs> I, mean, I got the camera going right now. Burning line. <laughs> zzz, zzz, zzz. Oh, yeah. You sweating yet, Dave? I'm sweating. <laughs> I Man, see it dripping getting, down the side. Just getting it tight with the kite. <laughs> Didn't pop off the kite release. That yeah, was weird. I knew it was on because he was ripping line right away. But then he just kind of gently swam towards the boat for a while. First time out here, bluefin fishing, and we're hooked up. This is a cow. Oh, you want the drone up? Yes, sir. Your Captain Henry wants a drone. Yes, yeah, I want a drone. A here. It's gonna take a minute. Can you hold this for me? Man. I 
think, right? Let's see. It's <sighs> a nice and gentle squat. Hit a crank. Nice and easy squat. You don't want to pull too hard. I'm still in high gear because he's way out there. Mine's pretty horizontal. No. Keep it. Keep the tension. It's been what about ten minutes? Feels like longer. You able to gain on them? Oh yeah. That'd be swimming towards the boat. <laughs> 150 wide. What's that? The 50 wide reel? Yep. Makira. Akuma Makira 50 wide, two speed, sinker 3x5 rail rod. Big head chase. Real big? No. I'm not sure. A lot of drag on this reel. And it's, I'm just kind of, I feel like I'm just dragging it along because we still got the boat going two and a half knots. By keeping in the gear, though, we're keeping the pressure on them for sure. Yeah. Awesome blow up that we totally missed until the kite hit the water. Got the release clips uh, a little tight, I guess. Tuna door open. It's tuna time. Henry, it's about time you woke up. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah! 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 I might need you to drive the boat all of a sudden, man. So go again. No, nah, we're just gonna keep going straight. No, 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 okay, go, let's go. There's good spot here. Oh, the line again. Good, it's really big. <laughs> no pee on. No pee on. No, we can't. No, no, up. up. <laughs> Almost right. Get him this time. Get him. Put the rod down. One more. Put the rod down. Yeah. Okay, one second. Okay. Oh, open the door. Open the door. Oh, let me get this other gap, guys. Hold on, one second. You got him. He's not going anywhere. Open the door. Wait, wait, wait. There you go. Open the door. Come here. Hey. One, two, three. Oh, 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 Holy sh! I mean, <laughs> holy, <poop. laughs> holy sh! This is I don't know, at least probably a 45-minute fight, and with this heavy gear, man! Wow! Woo. Man, this is exciting right here. Was it barely? <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> I saw that. Oh. What size of hooks were these right here? This is a 12 aught circle hook. The 5 watt owner SST 76 or something like that. And this is on a rig with a flying but fish. But it's on this hook, right? Yeah. On that hook, yeah. The trouble. 300 pound fluoro, 380 pound swivel, 150 pound fluoro top shot. Oh you awake, Henry? Are you ready to go back to bed? Yeah, go back to bed. <laughs> <laughs> with the with the fish? Okay, are we Man. hook up another one? Let's we gotta bleed him, bonk him. Ice him. Get the line back or 
Here's a knife, back foot right by you. Man, right, let's do it. Can I just okay. cut the gills? No, it's down in here. There's a spot right inside their gill plate. Okay. Oh, I see. Yeah, see the there heart. we go. Bubbling. All right. You can get their gills too. He's gushing pretty good. You like bloody dicks, that's for sure. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> that's a bee. <laughs> oh, man. That is awesome. I need the cooler. All right, now, now we just need one more. We said we came here for one. Now we just need one more. Man. You guys like this video? Hit the subscribe button, thumbs up. We're gonna get this fish cleaned up here and uh, get our lines back in the water. Yeah. I need to put it here a little bit. So here's a flying fish on what this uh, blue flan was landing on. We're gonna show you how we rig it up here. We've got Dave. He's gonna be rigging it up for us. So I find the length of the stick where I'm gonna enter. Just off. like like skewers or what are they? Yeah, like, I can use skewers or little bits of bamboo or whatever. But I want to slide in along the spine and pop out inside the head and have the whole skewer be inside the fish. So poke down, feel the spine, and then all the way up and right at the last little inch there. It's hard. Ooh. Sometimes I'll grab a pair of pliers. I'll be push it in that last little bit, and that keeps the fish rigid out there. Keeps it from flopping. And I got these pieces of bamboo I pre cut. Stick it in. Just behind the wings. So. We've actually picked up these flying fish down here at uh, Dana Point, right at uh, Hogan's Bait and Tackle. We're selling them for 30 bucks a piece. Yeah. So if you guys need some bait, uh, check out Hogan's uh, Bait and Tackle. Call me fuck. <laughs> yeah. So, go through the wing. The string and the bait needle. Just overhand knot. Yep. Tight. Do the same thing to the other side of the wing. top of the, the circle hook so I want to go in from this side and have it uh, I want to go in from this side and have it pop out over here. So I go in just ahead of the skewer. Go down I feel the spine I go just underneath the spine and then back out the other side. Like so and I want it to have kind of an upward tilting English so I'll put the hook in somewhere where it has kind of a upward facing. This way when it slides through the water it kind of doesn't plow in. And that's the bait right there. That's the setup right there. Just the kite back up and out. Hey. Go flying. See, we want them to cruise along the water kind of like this. And I want them three or four feet above the water, off the water, or deep. Get it up, track straight. Let it rip, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. 
Had her go out. What do you think? You had it out about 100 yards, maybe? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we got the kite up, and we're just going to keep on trolling. See if we can't hook another one of these. Bluefin tuna. Man. Here's my fist compared to the head. Oh, he's talking to me now. All right, let's get this. So, uh, what are we gonna do? Get it um, iced up, put it in the bag. Yep. Be right back with you. There you go. Nice one. Yeah. Where's the line at? All right, it's, it's, it's on the right side. Yeah. Right, right. It's in front. Hooked up. I think it's a blue fan. FOB, what do you mean thing a blue fan? <laughs> Damn it, there's a blue fan. Ow! It's been on for what, 10 minutes, five minutes? Five. Bro. Five. Oh, sure. Stop crying, baby. When they say tuna are one of the hardest fighting fish yeah, in the world. It's perfect right here. Putting up a great fight so far and uh, gonna hand the ride off to Henry here for a bit and we can all get a chance and see if we can get this cow in. Maybe a super cow. <laughs> you gonna fly a go? No, no. Huh? No, no, no. Let's get this one in. Hey, hold on now, we're gonna get the kite out on the other side. Fought it for about five minutes. Henry's gonna take over here. You had it probably for ten. Five, five, ten minutes. Good fish for sure. saw a nice pod of fish on the fish finder. I even took a picture of it because it was more fish than we'd seen at any point. We 125, 150 feet down or something? Yep, down deep, but a lot of big ones, big boys. So we stopped and started drifting with the kite about a, about a half mile past the school. Drifted right over. Drifted right over. Port side more. Oh, get it on. This is probably my biggest fish right here I've hooked up on. Way out there. Here's the next one ready. Yeah. Keep, keep going, keep going, keep going. He just turned, he just turned. All right, after well over an hour hey. fight, we're up to our top shot oh, leader. Oh, monster. Huh? Monster. <laughs> Holy. <laughs> in the slot, put in the slot, Dave. In the slot. Not a good teamwork. 
the fish over we'll make the kill bag duct tape it all wrap it up that tarp that tarp that foam duct tape it all together like we're bosses yeah, this should work huh Probably just roll it over, huh? Really, really hard to roll. out fishing, you catch a fish big enough, you don't have a kill bag that'll fit inside. You guys can always make them using a sleeping bag, which we had a couple extra on the boat, and just some uh, bubble wrap. And uh, this will get us back to the dock, and we'll fill it up with ice, and uh, should keep the fish cold enough.